uh, you probably saw this in the tally that you accomplished. This is one of the items there just to explain what uh, I meant when I say we use solo in the design of the item. So for every question, we need a response. And the response could be captured by the options given in the multiple choice item. So there are four options given in this problem. Which of the following is an appropriate assessment method for a teacher who aims to measure if learners are able to demonstrate a product type of learning target? And then there were four, four options given to you. One says demonstration with performance rubric. And then another one says essay with scoring rubric. And then another one says multiple choice test. And then the last one says feasibility study. Now, among the four choices, the correct and best answer when we talk of product type of learning target is letter D, feasibility study. And we gave that three points. Unfortunately, the, the rest of the options here, even if they could represent a certain um, level in solo from unistructural, that is one, and uh, multi-structural, that is two, we were not able to give you these points that uh, we should have offered you because the form uh, was not able to, allow, to accommodate such uh, automation in scoring. But later on, I'll show you uh, that that could be modified, but it, it requires manual uh, modification. So uh, when, when we assigned one point here, that means you know that demonstration with performance rubric is a method of assessment. That's performance assessment as well, just like product type. But we did not give you two points because that, that, that demonstration is a skill type. No, it uh, does not uh, represent a product type of learning target. So that is not correct. We give you one point for that. If we scored you using solo. Another one, essay with scoring rubric. Essay is also performance-based. And because you, you compose something, the ideas that you put there should be different from what you saw in books or what you heard from your teacher. So it's a product of your learning in a written uh, output, no? in a written form. Uh, but again, we did not give you uh, three points for this to mean correct and best answer because this is more on the a demonstration of your reasoning and not much on the product of your learning. So that's the, the difference. So, kumbaga, um, medyo correct, but not necessarily the best uh, among the options given. Multiple choice is given also one point here, not two points, because multiple choice is also a, a, a method in assessing learning. But uh, the strength of this, however, is on the assessment of knowledge and not necessarily on the product type of learning target. And among the four, uh, feasibility study is the correct and best one because as uh, explained here in um, our feedback, feasibility study is an example of a product type learning as it could produce knowledge and information as a result of learners' use of knowledge, reasoning, and skills. In other words, the product type of of learning target encompasses other types of learning targets to include knowledge, reasoning, and skills. So among the four choices, the correct and best answer is letter D. And that is in solo, uh, illustrates the relational level. And so that, that is given three points because it's the correct and best answer. All right. I hope um, you understood the, um, the way we design or structure the choices and how we could score it if we apply solo. Now, uh, in yesterday's um, uh, results of the tally, you know, uh, we were able to see 12,000. Maybe uh, this, this was taken in the morning when I was preparing for my slides. I saw 12,177, but uh, last night, I think it went up to around 18,000. So I'm showing you now the MS form that we use. Um, why is tally in MS form? First thing is that this is a very good uh, form as it shows you three ways in uh, reporting the, the result of the assessment. Of course, you could see here the number of respondents, 12,177 in this um, period that I captured the result of the tally. It shows the item. So you might wonder why the start uh, here is 35. I think parang 34 or 32 yung start po nung count namin doon because in MS form, all the items that are put there are automatically numbered. You cannot control the number. So we just have to know the starting point here for the items that 
uh, could actually capture your assessment competency. So I think parang nasa 30 plus yung uh, start. And one of the items here that I captured is on uh, item 35. And it says here, so this is one good in MS form. You could automatically see the frequency of uh, those who answered the item correctly. Like for this, I mentioned three points because this represents relational in solo. Only 11% of the 12,059 uh, respondents answered this question correctly. I, I just don't know why uh, only 12,059 answered this um, and only 1,374 answered the, the question um, correctly. I want... Uh, Look at the discrepancy. So this we have here 12,177 respondents, but the computer is reporting that only 12,059 uh, cases are valid. Maybe there are uh, replicates, no? Baka may mga dalawang beses ng sagot, baka na nag-count ng dalawang beses, pero yung actual lang ay uh, ito. No? So that's already automatically screened by the system. So that reduces our, our task as a teacher when we do the data cleaning. And it also reports the data in tabular form. Or of course, you cannot see the tabular form, but these are like the tally. So out of um, 12,059, it says here that uh, one of the choices, letter A there, was responded or chosen by 9,819. The correct answer, though, is letter D, but it was only answered by 1,374. That explains why only... 11% of the respondents answered this correctly. Now, ask yourself, does this indicate that you, you, um, you, uh, you know uh, the competency behind this item? Definitely not. We want that at least how many of you should be able to demonstrate uh, proficiency in, in this kind of uh, item. Dapat lahat, di ba? Kung proficient ang teacher sa competency na nakatag dito, then dapat 100%. Pero it shows that you know, only a few, 11%. At kokonti lang ang nakakaalam, not even half, uh, answered this correctly. So this, this explains why we are running this professional development program. As in this item, it shows that there are some areas, assessment competencies that teachers are still not so good at. So aside from the, the frequency count that you could see here, there is also another way by which we could interpret the results. And that is by looking at the graphical form. If we are visual learners and we prefer to interpret data in graphical form, then MS form could provide that. Other features that are good um, in MS form, that's why we chose this. Uh, ito po nakikita ninyo, yung kita agad yung difference. Yung para kung if you do item analysis, you don't necessarily have to do the counting anymore as that is already um, provided here. But the, the information that it can only provide is the percentage of correct answer. So it, it could be, it could tell the level of difficulty of the item or it could also tell the, the level of mastery of the teachers for the competition that is tested by this item. It also tells the average scores. So I said 75 is the highest, but the tool is like 87 because of the addition of the four items on uh, growth mindset. But the, the value, we have to recheck that. And again, you could see here an Excel form. If you notice, there is an Excel form here. You can download that if you want to examine all the responses and clean some data there. You can do that. Just click on that, download it, and you have all the, the information you need from all these 12,000 plus uh, teachers who responded to the item. It has also this portion on review answers. As I said, if we score this using solo, we can still um, uh, record no? or, or rescore the responses, but we have to do it manually because the MS form can only do the automatic scoring for a binary type of scoring scheme, like zero or one or zero and three, but not the in-between points. You can also post the score, and I think uh, you were given already the result. Uh, please check. If you responded to this form, you should have received a feedback from us. 
telling you what you obtained. You need that. Please check no, if you um, copied the PDF file that is needed. Download that PDF file as that will be used later on in making reflections on your strengths and weaknesses. So you could see the result per item. So that is also provided. Another uh, beauty of MS form is that it allows differentiated feedbacking. We really highlight here the need to give timely, accurate, relevant, and differentiated feedback. And that is possible in MS form. Actually, this is one of the reasons why we like MS form. It allows uh, feedbacking per option. In other forms, kasi hindi pwede yung ganun, no? Parang one set of uh, feedback for the correct answer and another set for all all the incorrect uh, answers, but not in the same way as how MS form does it, where op every option could have its corresponding uh, feedback, depending on uh, what the teacher has actually chosen. Like, for example, here it says, select a textbook that has a teacher guide with a test. I could not see anymore the other part, but the response here pertains to that feedback. And then the response in blue here also uh, pertains to another option in that set of four choices. So that's how differentiated feedbacking is done. And you can be very generous in giving feedback, in explaining if this is a misconception, if this is a wrong answer, then you can use the portion on the feedbacking in the MS form to articulate um, uh, the ideas that you 